Alrighty guys. Alright, so now that we've got most of our pumpkin in place, let's go and finish it up and call it good. Okay, so let's go and actually fuse this stuff together. But before I do that, actually, let's go and have some fun with the colors here. Usually these pumpkins, like they're orange on the outside, but as they reach, you know, these inner portions right here, they kind of get a little bit brighter. They change color. Let's just say that. How about that? So uh, what I want to do, I'm going to call this my base color like that. And I want to go and drop down a group node because with this group node, I can select all the unshared edges. So I'm going to call this borders. All right. And so basically what's happening here, because I'm using the dollar OS group name, it's picking up the name or the label of the node here as the group name. All right. So if you were to look at the info for this guy right here, when it decides to actually pop open, I have a group called borders, then there's nothing in it. All right. So I need to put something in it. So let's put in some points and we're going to enable that. We're going to enable unshared edges and look at that. Very cool. So now we're selecting all the border points here. And with that information, I can come in here and drop down another color node and color that just a different color orange or like a desaturated orange, something like that, you know, something like that. <laughs> no, I'm not going to leave it like that this way. So let's select a color. I'm going to hit the little eyedropper button and then pick a color. That's not bad. It's kind of cool, actually. I'm going to desaturate it, though. Maybe put it up there or something like that. You know, you can play around with this stuff and be all artsy with it. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like that. So now at this point, what I can do is I can fuse everything together because we have geometry now. Right, so I'm going to put the fuse node in there and voila, we are now fused together. All the points are fused together. So with that done, I'm going to go and drop down an attribute blur. All right, and I'm going to blur the color. So for the attributes, I want to blur instead of the, the P position, all right, which actually is kind of cool too, kind of smooths it out nicely for us. But what I really wanted to do was smooth out the color. So let me turn off our wireframe there. So now we can really blur our color out. So we get even more fall off there. We can control it with the step size as well. Yeah. And maybe we do actually add some P in there. Some position. Yeah. Very cool. That is a very fine pumpkin, if I do say so myself. We still have lots to do, but that is looking pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing I want to do in this lecture is cap these guys off. So to do that, I'm going to put down a polyfill like so, All right? Because we've fused together our geometry completely. It'll cap off the top there for me. Look at that. All right, let's take a look at our UVs. Amazing. Simply amazing. Cool, and let's check our UVs again. Let's do a UV visualizer. There we go. And that is not looking too bad. We'll take care of all this stuff in a little bit. Let's put it at one. Yeah. Not bad at all. Okay, cool. So that's what I wanted to do. Uh, something we should really do here is we should provide some sort of way to select those patches so i'm going to put those guys into the caps group and i'll just leave that alone for now but what we can do now is if we ever need to get the cap geometry you can see now we have this cap and even group and there's nothing in the even group but the caps contains those two caps we made all right cool so i'm going to close out the section there and in the next we're going to take this even further i'm going to deform this a little bit more give it more realism. I'm going to add the stem to it. And then in the section after that, we're going to cut a face into it. And then we're going to make a candle and a little uh, flame effect that we can actually set up inside of Unity or Unreal as a, a particle effect. Okay, so lots more to do. But that's good for this section. We have a nice basic pumpkin now. Thanks so much.